Exploring idioms. Worship false gods. Hello, and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of idioms and phrases, focusing on worship false gods. This phrase holds rich meanings and uses beyond its literal sense. Join us as we unravel the layers behind this expression, aiming to enhance your understanding and application in everyday English. Worship false gods originally comes from religious contexts, where it meant giving reverence to deities or idols considered not genuine or unworthy according to certain belief systems. However, in modern usage, this phrase has transcended its religious roots to convey a broader spectrum of meanings. At its core, worship false gods metaphorically describes the act of devoting or dedicating oneself to unworthy causes, values, or objectives. These false gods could be anything from materialism, fame, and power to more abstract concepts like an excessive focus on personal image or social status. Let's explore how this phrase can be used in contemporary contexts. 1. Social commentary. In a society that worships false gods of beauty and wealth, genuine kindness and empathy often go unnoticed. 2. Personal reflection. He realized he had been worshiping false gods, chasing after success and recognition at the expense of his personal relationships. 3. Literature and media. Authors and creators might use the phrase to critique characters or societies focused on misguided priorities. These examples show that worship false gods can serve as a powerful tool for critique, reflection, and discussion about what values we choose to prioritize. Understanding and using idioms like worship false gods enriches your language skills, allowing you to express complex ideas succinctly and vividly. It opens up avenues for deeper conversation and can help you better interpret the nuances in literature, media, and everyday dialogue. Moreover, exploring such phrases enhances cultural literacy, providing insights into the values, beliefs, and historical contexts that shape language use. We hope this exploration of Worship False Gods has illuminated its meanings and applications for you. Idioms like this one add color and depth to our language, offering concise ways to express profound concepts. As you continue your English learning journey, we encourage you to embrace these expressions, enriching both your comprehension and your ability to engage with others. Thank you for joining us today, and we look forward to exploring more intriguing aspects of the English language together in future videos.